Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel Design with Pramod. Let's do designing together. In today's session, let's try to learn carousel design in Figma. I have divided carousel design into two categories. One is like manual carousel design. All right. And if I go here and you see this right, I have actually created one sample which will uh, tell you like how this carousel will work. All right. So manually, I have to click on this button then it actually goes to the next item and if I click on this button again this will go to the item here like this and similarly I'll go back like this and I can come back this way again to the third card and the second category is like auto carousel alright in this one what exactly we see here that is automatically animating you see this right and this is how your auto animation works here and that is about auto carousel i have actually downloaded these assets from our pexels.com so what i will do from here i'll try to group these three frames together into one auto layout and i'll try to equally space them uh, by applying on auto layout and what i'll do i'll try to reduce the padding between uh, these three cards all right what i'll do here i'll try to bring one frame here that will be our iPhone 16 frame and under that what we wanted to have we want to bring these cards here all right and that is like this and let's bring them on the top all right and then what I'll do I'll try to um, put somewhere here and then let's go and cut this one and select this frame and paste those all items whatever we have there and let's try to reduce their height by clicking on k what i'll do i'll try to reduce their height like this all right so somewhere around here and that is how we have the resizing done all right so we have our first card ready and let's let's go and try to duplicate this one what i'll do i'll try to bring these card uh, to the left by clicking on k again what i'll do i'll try to resize this one equal to these cards now i'll try to increase its height this way and then a third card will be coming like this and just checking the height all right so let's go randomly and we can refine this one whenever we try to work the final product all right and let's duplicate one more frame from here all right so this is one more frame for me and that will be my this card enlarged all right so this by clicking on k i'll try to increase its height this way and this is my frame and what i'll do i'll try to resize this way uh, i'm just checking the center alignment all right and let's go and do the cut paste here all right so this is our third frame and this is our first frame so what i'll do i'll try to rearrange them here and this is my first frame this is my second card and this is my third card here all right now our three frames are ready so what i'll do i'll try to have some heading kind of a placeholder here on the top so by clicking on rectangle tool i'm just drawing uh, i'm just drawing some random shape here and that could be around 20 pixel corner radius all right that is actually a feel of your text heading uh, and subheading maybe the description of these shoes maybe all right and this is how it goes here and the same way i'll just try to duplicate here as well and on this artboard as well so now what i want to do i want to have some three little animating dots here all right so by clicking on a rectangle tool i'll try to draw one rectangle shape here maybe that would be around 20 pixel and yeah so width and height would be 20 pixel and one more dot would be for me like 20 pixel and 20 pixel and let's try to increase their corner radius to around 
20 pixel that means rounded shapes we'll get but what we want to have here this one would be a little larger for us and this way and this shape can be equally managed later so just to showcase uh, that you are into this first position all right this is how this is like enlarged and let's try to color with some different color and that will be my pink color and i want to have a little lighter color here all right so the same way what i'll do i'll try to apply auto layout on them all right so that way equally they are spaced all right so this is like 20 pixel padding between these these three dots here and let's go and center align them to this respective frame the similar way i'll try to copy this one and paste this in uh, the second frame as well and but here what i want to have i want to have this enlarged and this shrink all right so what was our width again 20 pixel all right and this is like 37 pixel width and we'll try to change uh, its color to this light pink all right and this color to the same gray whatever we have here our second image is enlarged all right and the first one and second are shrinked and the same way let's go and try to duplicate the same thing from here to here but here what we want to have we want to have this one enlarged and this one shrinked because end image is like enlarged this one to around 37 pixel and this one to around 20 pixel so now let's try to have some button kind of a shape at the bottom all right and that is our button and let's try to increase its height and let's try to fill with this pink primary color all right and the same way i want to have some description at the bottom maybe yeah and here this could be smaller and this could be large in some cases just to give the difference all right some content might be there at the bottom and let's go and copy paste all these to this artboard as well and to this artboard as well all right so this is like our auto animation frames and let's go and try to connect them together from here what i'll do i'll try to go to the prototype mode then from artboard level what i'll do i'll try to connect this frame and what i'll do i'll try to make this as a after delay so after delay of 800 millisecond you switch to this frame automatically instance we want to have little animation there i would give around 400 millisecond all right so that way smoothly animation will happen and the same way i'll connect from this artboard to this artboard as well here trigger uh, type is like on click by default from there we'll try to change um, it to after delay we actually entered 400 milliseconds here that is how after 400 milliseconds of delay uh, you will actually switch uh, to the different artboard altogether the same way from here again i want to go back and enlarge this image and on instead of on click we'll go to the after delay and the same way we'll do on this one too now let's try to preview how that looks all right so you see that right that is sweetly animating that is about auto carousel let's try to do manual carousel now let's try to duplicate three artboards here let's center line them this way and instead of uh, having them automatically animating all right let's go and remove all those interactions whatever we connected here all right so now i'll try to remove these i'll draw one arrow here all right and this is my right arrow and let's try to increase its thickness to around four pixels should be fine and this is just to showcase you guys how i am trying to create that icon all right and that is my first icon and let's apply uh, by clicking on shift a auto layout and then let's go and duplicate this one and rotate that to some different angle 
and these are our right and left arrows and let's go and try to scale them to the smaller size and this is how these sizes are good and that should be enough and let's go and try to put in this frame whatever we have here all right copy paste here and the same way we'll paste in this artboard too but what we wanted to have we wanted to let user know this is like end frame for you so let's try to decrease its opacity to around 20 percent and the same way whenever we start right we wanted user to click on this button only because our carousel starts from this position all right so let's try to decrease its opacity to 20 percent all right and yeah let's connect them now and try to do the manual prototyping and let's go back to the prototyping mode by clicking on shift e and from here you click on this button and connect to the second artboard and the trigger should be on click we have that retention all right that animation type duration everything like what we have in our auto animation and the similar way what i'll do i'll try to go here and try to connect from here to here and if i want to go back to this frame right from here i will connect to this frame all right so the trigger is on click all right so from here again i want to go back to this frame and let's go and preview them here and you see that right on click only that position happens you see that sweet animation right on the top and with shifting of that image right so this is how it is coming here and i want to go back and from here i want to go back and preview this image right this is like this is how our manual animation is happening all right so isn't this easy guys to create this uh, carousel and that is all about carousel design guys thanks for watching and staying till the end see you